extremely dangerous, virtually undetectable, and brutally devastating, the American B-2 Spirit Stealth Bomber is one of the most valuable weapons in the United States Air Force, and paradoxically, one of the least used. The combination of a reduced infrared, acoustic, electromagnetic, visual, and radar signature makes this stealth bomber one of the most lethal aircraft in the world. However, its high manufacturing cost makes it a precious jewel that the United States Air Force does not want to endanger. The B-2 Spirit is one of the most visibly eccentric aircraft ever constructed. It can carry enough munitions in its bomb bay to completely devastate a city while flying undetected several miles overhead. The fact that the B-2 can operate in the greatest of secrecy with the capacity to carry over 40,000 pounds of pinpoint laser and GPS-guided thermonuclear explosives provides an unparalleled fear factor. This iconic aircraft is as powerful as it is a delicate jewel. The B-2 Spirit was originally developed during the Cold War as a countermeasure to a possible nuclear attack by the Soviet Union against the United States. It is the most expensive military aircraft in history, with a unit value of nearly $1.2 billion in 1997, distributed across manufacturing costs, development, engineering, and testing expenses. The updated figure in 2023 dollars would be almost double that figure. This astronomical expense was exactly why only 21 of the 130 spirits originally ordered to defend against the Soviets were manufactured. Additionally, the fall of communism in Eastern Bloc countries led former U.S. President Bill Clinton to significantly reduce the budget for B-2 manufacturing. The B-2 Spirit is a high, subsonic, multi-role, heavy bomber developed by Northrop Grumman. It's powered by four General Electric F-118 non-afterburning engines, each with over 17,000 pounds of thrust. The non-afterburning engines add to the B-2's stealth capacity. Its wingspan is 172 feet, length 69 feet, and it stands at 17 feet high. It has a maximum takeoff weight of over 336,000 pounds and cruises at 50,000 feet. Its two-man crew could theoretically fly the Spirit forever if they continued to refuel mid-flight. The Spirit represented an extreme technological leap in stealth capacity in the 1980s. Its characteristic arrow-shaped design with wings drawn with a W makes the entire aircraft appear to be a flying wing. The B-2's highly aerodynamic wing-shaped design, its low observable stealth technology, and its modern radar systems used for defense and enemy detection make the B-2 the most lethal and frightening aircraft in the U.S. arsenal. It can penetrate enemy territory deeper than any of its predecessors, all while avoiding detection. However, the B-2's road to operational activity was not short. It was nearly 10 years from the B-2's first test flight before its first use in any military action. Exorbitant costs added to the reduction in B-2 orders, and the possible future elimination of B-2 usage represents a terrible material loss for the United States Air Force. When the B-2 first became operational, one downside to its enormous advantage of being invisible was that if it entered deep into enemy territory, the B-2 would have had to do so without fighter escorts to protect it. Thus, when the B-2 first came into service, its greatest characteristic was also its main weakness. However, now, the existence of stealth fighter jets like the F-22 and F-35 provide the solution to this historical problem. Since its first flight in 1989 to present, the B-2 has participated in several conflicts. The Kosovo War in 1999, the wars in Afghanistan and Iraq in the 2000s and 2010s, and twice into Libya in the 2010s. The B-2 also partook in military maneuvers over Korea in 2014, but these were not offensive actions. Today, we focus on the first time this legendary bomber saw action, as part of a joint NATO effort over the skies of Yugoslavia during the Kosovo War. Its baptism by fire was during Operation Allied Force, when NATO launched a series of bombings over Yugoslavia during the Kosovo War. In this conflict, the largest cities of the western part of the Balkan Peninsula were bombed until they were nearly leveled, 
with the B-2 Spirit leading the way as the main delivery aircraft. Exhaustive research into NATO bombings in Yugoslavia has shown very curious data. Of all the devastating munitions dropped by NATO, the B-2 Spirit delivered a significant portion, even though it accounted for the fewest flight hours during the campaign. Although its mission time was only 1% of NATO actions in the Kosovo War, B-2s destroyed 11% of the total targets throughout Yugoslavia during the Kosovo War, and 33% of the targets in the first eight weeks. For the U.S. military, their enormous economic investment in the B-2 proved to be worth every penny. In 2020, the Aviation Geek Portal revealed that the first target of the powerful spirit during the Kosovo campaign was Serbia's anti-aircraft defenses, which were heavily protected. In fact, the entire B-2 operational plan revolved around two central missions, disrupt the enemy's supply chain and devastate both the radar and surface-to-air missile systems. Spirits played a vital role in destroying the nerve centers of the enemy defense, focusing their attacks on communications facilities, radar antennas, and aerial surveillance equipment. In fact, the B-2s destroyed the deadly Soviet air-to-air -air missile system in Serbia, which represented an enormous danger for American fighters. Thanks to their powerful invisibility cloak, Spirits gained a wide advantage over the Soviet-made missile system, which became the main targets of the B-2. The devastating results provided strategic comfort for NATO's constant bombing of the Serbian territory. Other major targets that were reduced to ashes by the B-2's impressive payload of 40,000 pounds were ammunition production centers, arsenal warehouses, and other buildings fundamental to Serbia's defense infrastructure. One mission for the B-2 involved destroying the intersection of two runways at an enemy airbase to prevent enemy aircraft from taking off and to facilitate the advance of NATO infantry. The B-2 dropped so many explosives on the airbase that the runways were completely eliminated, leaving behind huge craters and making it impossible for any plane to take flight. Later, B-1 Lancers and B-52 Strato Fortresses swooped in and completed the job by destroying all parked Serbian aircraft. Despite the impressive effectiveness of the B-2 Spirit in the Kosovo War, they have not again seen as much action as they did in 1999. Although they acted extensively in Afghanistan and Iraq, the B-2s typically conducted actions adjacent to the main strategy of the American invasions. Part of the difference of the B-2 missions in Kosovo in 1999 as compared to those in Afghanistan and Iraq in the 2000s is that the missile defense systems in Kosovo were seen as much more of a threat to NATO forces than anything available in Afghanistan and Iraq. There was less of a need for stealth as a defense in the latter actions. However, these legendary bombers continue to provide the necessary fear factor in discouraging enemy attacks proving that the B-2 Spirit is still one of the most lethal aerial predators in the world. Today, the B-2 Spirit can be seen flying over stadiums throughout the United States after national anthem ceremonies as a salute to those who have served and continue to serve to protect and defend the freedoms in the U.S. Have a question or a perspective to share? Drop it in the comments section below. If you found this video as intriguing as we did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button to see more thought-provoking content. Thank you very much for joining us for this video. See you next time on Fierce, Fire, and Fury.